Let's say I have these slides of some faces, which I like to use. These are from old Magic Lantern shows, some of this stuff. If you really want to get into the essence of light shows in general, check out what Magic Lantern shows are. This was started, you know, maybe even going back to the 1600s, until the, uh, uh, you know, until the birth of film, Magic Lantern Show is really the, the, the cutting edge, state of the art in terms of projection and light art, and in many ways the same principles that you have from, uh, from that can definitely be applied to this. A lot of handmade uh, elements or things that you can move around by hand and analog stuff. Let me show you an actual Magic Lantern slide. So this right here is an actual Magic Lantern slide from the 1800s, and it's just got a little crank here. And as this turns, it's sort of like a little kaleidoscopic type of thing. And let's see if we can get it into focus here. Not so much, it's not really meant for this projector. Um, but you can see that there's kind of, you know, things moving around in there as I turn this dial. So these slides that I have here are um, larger elements that I did for uh, a whole show that I did on Magic Lanterns. Um, and basically these are some of the, the slides that I made. So, for instance, let me show you some classic uh, slides. These are bigger slides uh, that I made, uh, that, which are actually taken from actual, um, you know, Magic Lantern uh, slides. They just, just made bigger. Within this, I actually have two different um, uh, pieces of acetate with different things printed on them with this little, uh, little lever here, and I can move it around. And just by having, you know, two plates with two different pieces of artwork on it, I can, by moving around, make this guy's eyes move. Or if I want to uh, get into some of the more classic elements, one of the most classic ones is the snoring man, which is this guy here who's sleeping, and you know he's kind of you know snoring. And you know when you would have these Magic Lantern shows back in the day, it it was a lot more than just projections. It was also sound effects and music and you know voices and things like that. So you would maybe have some body doing this in, in in a small one, right? That's probably around this big or maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but they would have that on a on a Magic Lantern and moving it around. In this case, I have it just flat on the on the overhead. And so you might have like sound effects. So like, let's say this guy's like, you know, snoring. <laughs> right, and as he would, you know, one of the, the gags in this was that he was a snoring man. And, you know, and these people had like rats coming around. Look at that cat's not even doing anything at all. <laughs> and, and he's snoring and he's snoring and Oh, you know, he ate the, he ate the rat. Now, <laughs> this isn't really that funny, but like 200 years ago, this was hysterical. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing anybody had ever seen. <laughs> right, so that's like some, you know, that's one of them. This one in particular, I like, uh, be kind of a gag of, uh, let's say a guy pulling a head off of another person, and he's like, uh, 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 and he, you know, boom, and that's the gag. It's hysterical. This is actually also called a chromatrope. And so let me show you a larger version of a chromatrope. And in my opinion, this is actually the first what can be considered a psychedelic light show, uh, because it sort of has this kaleidoscopic hypnotic effect and all I'm doing here is I have two different slides on two uh, in, in this case lazy Susans as, as I rotate them in opposite directions you know you can see this interesting kaleidoscopic hypnotic mandala like pattern going on you know and so you know just basically by showing off all this stuff you can see that there is um, you know, all, you know, just alone, like without even liquids or anything, you can, you know, put all kinds of things on this and even have them be mechanical and interact with them and touch them by hand, uh, you know, and then create artwork uh, right on the screen.